Four astronauts will fly the final 12-day mission of Shuttle Atlantis. The crew is a tight band of space veterans, each with a history of previous shuttle trips to the International Space Station. The mission is to take tons of supplies, including spare parts and a year's worth of food, up to the ISS. Commander Chris Ferguson first flew Atlantis six years ago to restart station assembly after the Columbia disaster. Um, there's not a lot of what we call white space in our flight plan, not a lot of downtime. Uh, we're going to be very busy for 12 straight days, but uh, this is the team that can do it. Pilot Doug Hurley also is a veteran of the shuttle. He'll be at the controls after Atlantis undocks for the final time. I was very, very young when Apollo happened, so I don't remember a lot of that, but it just, you know, seeing STS-1 and what this vehicle can do and then just, just the love of flying airplanes uh, kind of led me down this path. Sandy Magnus logged more than 50 million space miles during a four-and-a-half-month stay aboard the station three years ago. Magnus says space flight has bugged her since junior high. I think when you look back at the shuttle program, you're going to see a vehicle that was adaptable to the fullest extent over the 30-year life in ways that the original designers maybe have had vague ideas about, but certainly no concept of the wide variety of tasks that the vehicle was going to be able to perform. She's in charge of transferring the cargo from the shuttle to the space station. The fourth crew member is veteran spacewalker Rex Walheim. He's performed many of the same tasks before in space, but says the real challenge this time is accomplishing the mission with just four people. To see a completed space station up there is really a testament to not only ingenuity of all the engineers and scientists and people on the ground who worked on the space station, but also the people who worked on the space shuttle that can make such an incredible, reusable space vehicle to make that happen. 25 years after she made her maiden voyage, Atlantis and crew will make a final voyage for the shuttle program and into spaceflight history. John Belmont, Associated Press.